Hello and welcome to Skyvia Tutorials. In today's video, we will check how to sync data and automate workflows between Salesforce and MS Dynamics Business Central without any coding using Skyvia. Skyvia is a cloud data integration platform that provides tools to handle most data-related tasks. This tutorial assumes you already have a Skyvia account. If you don't have it, you can create it for free by following the link in the description. We picked two common scenarios for this tutorial. Sync of the Salesforce accounts to Business Central customers and automatic creation of a Business Central contact after it is added to Salesforce. Before you start building integrations between Salesforce and Business Central, make sure to create a connection to each of them. To create a connection to Salesforce, click Create New and select Connection. Look for Salesforce in the list and log in with your Salesforce account. To create a connection to Business Central, do the same and sign in with your Microsoft account. Once the connections are ready, we can move to our first scenario, inserting Salesforce accounts into Business Central customers. To sync data between Salesforce and Business Central, we will use Import, a wizard-based ETL tool. To create a new import, click Create New and choose Import. Select Salesforce as source and Business Central as target. To define what data to load from Salesforce to Business Central, where to load it and how to map it, create an import task by clicking Add New. You can add any number of import tasks to your integration. For example, you can create separate tasks for Salesforce accounts, contacts, and opportunities. Let's import accounts by selecting account object from the drop-down list. Here you can optionally apply filters to your data. For example, let's choose only accounts that are direct customers. On the target definition page, select the customer object in Business Central to load data into, and one of the available operations, insert, update, upsert, or delete. Insert adds source data to target. Update updates the values in target according to values in source. Upsert combines insert and update operations and adds new records while updating existing ones. Delete deletes the records from target. We select insert as we are loading accounts from Salesforce to Business Central. The next step is mapping. Skyvia tries to map fields automatically. However, you can remap any field as you see fit. There are four mapping types available, column, constant, lookup, and expression. Let's use constant and set currency code to 840, which is USD. Once this is done, click save and create. Now you can run your import, schedule it for future runs, Check the current import execution and the results of your previous imports. Let's create a schedule for it, then run it and check the log details. We schedule the integration to run every week on Monday at 5 p.m. Madrid time, starting now. To check the results of the current and past integrations, use monitor and log tabs. If some rows fail to import, you will receive a detailed error log. Also, you can set up email notifications to receive in case of partial or complete fail of your integration. For those who like building ETL pipelines, Skyvia created data flows. Here you can perform the same import and apply additional data transformation with the help of data flow components. It is designed for cases when you work with multiple data sources simultaneously and apply complex data transformations or custom logic, or you just prefer a visual designer. For example, here we add a custom field based on three other fields available in Salesforce. If you are looking for a trigger action type automation, for example, if you want to perform actions towards Business Central when a new record appears in Salesforce, you can use automation. On the automation flow on your screen, Skyvia checks the Salesforce for new contact records once every five minutes. If it finds one, it creates a queued execution that will perform an action. In our case, it is to create a contact in Business Central. You can expand the automation flow with the components available on the left to add conditions and create a complex logic inside your automation flow. At any point, you can check the previous automation versions and restore to one of them. Monitor current executions and check the detailed results of previous executions. Thank you for watching the Salesforce and Business Central integration tutorial. If you have any additional questions, feel free to drop us a comment below and we will help you.
To try SkyVF for free use the link in the description. See you in the next videos.